<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I I guess I have the highest rating out of the two of you. I give it like a four out of ten. And I, I'm, and I, I should give it a three. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a four. four. I'll give it a four. If anyone in the chat rates it. I'll give it a five then. If anyone in the chat rates it five or both, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I cringe and I laughed at the movie. That's basically. That's actually how I feel too. That's how honestly. I did too. Like, yeah. That was. Okay, fuck this movie. Oh. oh my god. That was fucking awful. That was awesome. I had a great time. I, I, that it. was fun. That was actually kind of fun. That was it's a bad movie, but I fun. enjoyed it. That was that's, fun. That's that was really fun to do with people. The question yeah. is, how, would, how, how do you um, rank the MK movies thus far? Oh, okay. Um, Ooh, are we actually doing this? The 95 yeah. movie <laughs> and Scorpion's Revenge go hand in hand. Then <sighs> okay, they're in the same level. Um, and then I say, um, so we all agree Annihilation is like one, right? Like the worst, absolutely. <sighs> Man, uh, no, no, you actually think this is better than the worst Annihilation? Mm, I yeah. mean, <laughs> may, I just uh, like ballerina I mean, dance. At least the hero of the movie is Annihilation. So bad. <laughs> That was terrible. Like, I mean, like, the thing is, like, I, the reason why I like Annihilation, I mean, I don't think it's a good movie. Uh, I don't, I want to make that clear. I, I, MK Annihilation is fucking terrible. It's guilty pleasure. But I guilty love pleasure. how funny it is. I love how fucking funny that movie is. I fucking love how I can sit there and laugh my ass off. This one kind of pisses me off, but at the same time, knowing that I was watching it with friends and we were all fucking laughing, um, <laughs> I think they're on the same tier. So I'm like, do I want to do it? Wow. I, like, I don't know. This is. Didn't. I mean, wasn't look, there like I a mean, news report? I mean, look, like, if I'm thinking objectively here, of course, this movie is better than, than Annihilation. Of course. Objectively. There you go. Fights are good. Effects are better. Acting is better. Not by much, but <laughs> acting is better. Yeah, it's not, it's, not fair, it's not fair to say the effects in a 2021 movie are better than one from yeah, 1990. Yeah, but it's not hard. That's to fair, say, yeah. yeah. But some of the effects were pretty fucking bad in this. Like the fucking Raiden eyes, those look, that looked, that looked like a TikTok filter. Like, what do you call it? Shang Tsung seat in Outworld. I, I still think that's really fake. Do you know what I'm talking dude, about? Like, there is like yeah. no locate. Everything just looks so brown and like. I but mean, they went out and shot beautiful scenery specifically for this film, <laughs> even though like 50 percent of it wasn't Shang Tsung's temple. Yeah, where? They where used, is that thing? Did you forget the the Simba Lion King sunset? Liu Kang was walking. Oh, you know, they yeah, used it for five no. seconds, <laughs> dude, and then immediately it just disappears. I he know just, that <laughs> setting. The lighting had no. Fun. It's just. But it's beautiful. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it was a good shot, but like it literally was the it, in the same scene. It was so different. If I had to guess, okay. I'd say I'd say that it was supposed to be at sunset at that point. Then they went back and did reshoots, and they went at the same time of day. Yeah. But they're like, well, we have, we have to get the shot in. The shot was great. So they kept the shot in, even though nothing else mattered. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so what about you, uh, Four Snake? How would you rate the MK movies? The original, easily, the best one. Yeah, 400%. <laughs> I don't like Scorpion's Revenge. I think I like An Annihilation a little more. I think I need to first, but I think I'm objectively speaking, right now. I think objectively speaking, Scorpion's Revenge is better than Annihilation. Yeah. If I was put on like a, a like a a scale of like one to ten, the original is like around a ten. Scorpion's Revenge, I guess, I probably put about a five or so. That's higher really than me. Wow. Well. And then <laughs> I mean, I've only seen it once. It'll probably go down when I watch it a second time. Um, but. <laughs> Then to say Annihilation is a bit below that, probably around like a four. Then this one's like, or maybe a, a wank. Because a cause wank Kano, out of ten. Because Kano was 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 fun. Even though she didn't Kano. Yes, yes. I think we I think we all kind of enjoyed Kano's banter's in this movie. I, I guarantee that in MK twelve, in MK twelve, Kano will come back and he'll have that exact personality. Yeah, he'll have the same. Oh thing. yeah, it's like I I actually walked into this movie thinking I would not care or like any character. But I actually at least had Kano. Like, I was kind of shocked about that. Yeah, I, I objectively, Kano is, like, the best, probably. Like, yeah. like, was the best thing about this movie. I legitimately liked everything about him in here. How is Kano <laughs> the best character in the Mortal Kombat product? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, right? That's a, that's a right? commentary. I, that's a commentary I don't care about how bad the movie is. 
Like, I don't care Kano's about, like, the Kano best Hunter. fucking character. Are you kidding me? You imagine yeah. this video this video saw about MK11, like back when it came out. And the, the guy made the observation that like of all people, Kung Lao had all the best Zynga. Here it's Kano. What what how? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, I it's like this version. Good. Like, I mean, I I like this. Ver I do like how I will say that I do like how they handled like Kung Lao snark in MK11. I think oh, in, in the intro specifically. I think in the story mode he's fine, but in the intros he's so fucking annoying and just super like a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little oh, bit too course, much. In Eleven, he has two different personalities. He's like he's like the cages because yeah. he's very oh, yeah, yeah. very cocky in um in MK in the uh, intros, but in the story mode, he's just making all the wisecracks at Johnny. And <laughs> Andros Kung Lao is an incel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's not wrong. But yeah, no, but I do like how they handled his snark here. I thought they were straight up going to do MK11 stuff, but no, I, I think. Well, I mean, I, I do like how they handled Kung Lao, but at the same time, he gets like no development. Like, he kind of just shows up and he's like a side character. Yeah. So, like, you're some people will say, like, um, like, do you care about their characters or do you care about how they're portrayed? They're fighting in the movie, yeah, which but, then like, is and, like, yeah. And I think for MK fans, those who know Kung Lao, those who know, like, we're all automatically gonna have like a like a uh, like we're gonna know and we're gonna have a connection to them. But in the movie, I don't think yeah. there's anything for that. If you look at it as a movie, not I think being that, an like, MK fan, that's the problem that every character in the movie had. Yeah, every no, character I agree. Had that I, agree. I agree. I mean, I like Liu I like Kang... the stuff that they did, but they just don't really have like development or any like. Just like wait to Max them. Story, they had to give it to Ko Young. <laughs> they have Which to give it to the MMA fighter. fighter. He has a family. His wife doesn't support his fighting. His daughter loves his fighting. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting myself, dude. Oh, I guess I should get to my rating then about the movie. <laughs> okay. What did you give? So me yeah, I I actually still think the 1995 movie is the best. Like it's cheese. It's there's some corny stuff. There's some issues with it, but like, of course, yeah. at least for characters and like, I, I, the characters are great. They're like, I still kind of like the corny fights and stuff like that. It's still the best out of all four. I would put it, I won't put it as high as you guys, like ten out of ten. I, maybe like a six, or if I'm feeling better, oh, I, like I, didn't, a seven. I didn't give it a ten out of ten. I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't think, um, I don't think a ninety-five movie is a ten out of ten. I mean, I, I treat it that way because it's like so precious. It's like, yeah, it's our, yeah. it's our golden <laughs> baby. Um, but it's like, it, I mean, like, I, 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 I have acknowledged my fault. Um, I acknowledge the faults of that movie. I've, 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 um, I, I, of course, don't like how they handle Scorpion and and so yeah. some of the fights aren't. Those good. are like, yeah, they, they definitely yeah. are just like <laughs> the minor CG in that movie is not that good. Sometimes it gets a little too cheesy, but like, it's a ten, it's a ten on the MK movie scale. But yeah, on the, on the movie scale, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, for an MK movie scale. Now the now bros, um, you know you know me and like for Snake we're not too too high on Scorpion's Revenge so we can't <laughs> we're yeah, gonna, so that's why I'm not I'm but not hey, I'm not putting you it know that why high. I'm not mad is because you guys at least acknowledge and say yeah holy shit this looks like a uh, Scorpion's Revenge is a masterpiece. Oh for sure this. yeah. All right, if you I, guys were to say like well I mean it's at least it's not as bad as Scorpion's Revenge. If you I'll, like I'll that, give this to Scorpion's great. Revenge and I'll just give like my biggest praise to Scorpion's Revenge right here. It is way more violent and bloody compared yeah, to this that's movie. The thing. That is one thing that I'm missing, in my opinion. Yeah. Like that's why PG-15 is justified because I really yeah. don't like compare the beginning of that movie and this movie. Like, granted, the movie's beginning is nice and people like it a lot, but like Scorpions of Friends did the same thing, but like way more brutal and just way more slashy and bloody. I mean, and yeah, I gory. mean, like one 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 could say that oh, it's easier to do because it's animation, and you're right, but like. The thing is that they marketed this movie with all the blood. Like, this is going to be the most violent yes. one. Like, this is the MK movie with violence. Like, this is the R-rated movie. And it's it's not really there. And you know what? I think that's okay. Like, I think that idea is fine. If, those if fatals, the fights are still good. Yeah, if the fights are still good and the fatals actually mean something. But, like, a lot of them don't really mean anything. Like... The Reiko and did. Jax one, like that—that that was an unnecessary. That was so unnecessary. The, 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 Sonya, the, the Sonya and Melina one, that was so unnecessary. The, that wasn't that wasn't bloody at all at the, all. The, the, the Nitara, one. the Nitara one. Uh, the that Nitara, was the that was the most goriest. That was the most yeah, the Nitara one. Yeah. one. So um, I, I think there were three major flaws with with like the violence in it. One is that the actual fatalities. There's no death in those characters aside from Liu Kang, who's like. Fatality for Kung Lao oh to the God. guy who didn't kill Kung Lao. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that's what he's like. Did he say fatality that? For <laughs> Kung Lao, like fatality for Kung Lao. But he said that to oh, somebody who didn't even kill Kung Lao. <laughs> Kung Lao's the one who told Liu Kang that Kung Lao was about to die. He gave him a heads up. He should be thanking him for giving him a shot. Yeah. <laughs> and he was just standing there, and then there was... <laughs> Ed Boon still hasn't said anything about the movie. Oh my god! <laughs> Give him oh. another twelve hours. We got this. That, another twelve hours. That's quite telling. That remember, remember in the um, history of Mortal Kombat documentary from Deadly Alliance, and it's like um, it was around this time that Hollywood smelled box office potential in the franchise. And those, uh, we were very happy with the first film. And later on, it says around this time Hollywood produced a second feature film, and it immediately moves on because oh, what is annihilate? <laughs> you're cutting out a little bit, but I I understand what you're saying. Yeah, like. <laughs> Oh, you were oh, saying God. you had three issues with the fight scene? You yeah. went with the first one? Yeah. That was the first one. Second is, because they marketed it on the violence so much, mm -hmm. but they weren't really that violent. I mean, it like, seems... I mean, like, the, the, like, like, I think it was very limited. Like, I mean, when it, when it was violent, it was violent, but like, it was very limited. Like, there wasn't that many of that things. Uh, that yeah. Much fatality, fatality. Oh, blood splatter. Yeah. Bone yeah. splatter shenanigans. Yeah. yeah. Which and I will say, like, um, in Scorpion's Revenge, they had a lot of fodder characters to just be able to just kill them as often, just the most brutal and bloody way possible. In this movie, yeah. other than the beginning, they didn't really have that many fodder for you to kill off. Maybe that's. One of the reasons why. Yeah, I, they could have. I mean, they could have done that with the Black Dragon, which is, and the Lin Kuei, which which are like established factions. The Lin Kuei show up in the first scene. Yeah, and that's it. Like, why not have some foot soldiers to, to accompany Sub Zero and Cabal, J just to give you some more dudes? Yeah, well, and then like, least... why didn't the special forces rescue Jax? Like, why... special yeah. forces don't exist. <laughs> it's just Jax and Sonya. There is no special <laughs> forces. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, but... I, I was worried about that. I think about that. Like, who's who's supposed to save Jax after he falls? I think it like, was Luke Kang. Luke Kang said that he saved. Was him. it just a Shaolin monk or something? <laughs> at, at that time, I was thinking, well, who's going to do it? Because Sonja's not here. She probably doesn't know what happened to Jax. No one does. And then it's like, oh, so found him and, and saved him. I guess they have a tracker or something. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Uh, and you have the third thing, right? Yeah, the, the third, third issue thing, yeah. you have the fighting. Yeah, is the, the implication that none of it, none of the deaths, fucking matter. Yeah, yes, I told you. It's the biggest fuck matter. you at the end there. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, and and I know, oh. I know, one hundred percent. Some people are gonna be like, "Well, when did death ever matter in MK?" I'm just like, those deaths and resurrections in the MK lore always sucked. The only time they were ever good <laughs> was with like Noob Cybot or Quan Chi and Scorpion when Scorpion was revived. Scorpion uh, was was revived and such. So there have been times where it's actually been done good. But what are we gonna do? Like have like Revenant fucking Goro or something like that, or Revenant fucking like, <laughs> Melina? Like I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that I should, bullshit. I assume they'll. Just, I assume it's just they'll come back and that'll be it. Yeah, I think yeah. other than other than Sub Zero being noob, then, I think everyone will just come worse. back. That, well, I mean, well, I mean, I don't even know if it's worse or not. Yeah. but so the, both, like, both are still both are just incredibly just just the the fact that like oh oh you you killed all these and do, did all these fatalities and you killed all these characters oh everything's all done not never mind they're all back it doesn't really matter yeah so we could have just <laughs> so we could have just waited for the tournament to happen because like well guess what they're gonna be back <laughs> like what the hell and then the whole the, the other thing is that like. The whole point is to kill those Earthrealm Warriors. The whole point of the movie is for them to kill the Earthrealm Warriors, okay, before the tournament, so they can not mm -hmm. get to Goro, because Goro is assumingly the champion. I don't say it. <sighs> but Wait I, a second. I yeah, they already <laughs> yeah. killed on, 1v1 yeah, Goro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, so like they, they send those Earthrealm... Uh, they send... They send the Outworlders to kill the Earthrealmers so they don't get Goro, and they send Goro! They put him in danger! They send him! They're trying to protect <sighs> him! What the fuck are you doing? And then fucking Cole <laughs> Young kills Goro? What the fuck is my little plot armor? Are you fucking joking? What the my hell My little is plot that? armor. <laughs> literally, uh. it's literally plot armor. Like, what the hell? Oh okay, so let me get back to the, uh, the rating here. I mean, I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> my issue with so yeah scorpion's revenge for sure better than this movie my issue with scorpion's revenge mainly revolves around everything else but the fighting so good job at least in scorpion's revenge for like getting the fighting and the action done you know um but funny enough when i first watched this movie i did the this one the 2020 2021 one i did state like in my review saying that like scorpion's revenge is the better movie but maybe i enjoy this one like just for the ironic parts and stuff like that i mean mm -hmm. maybe 
I mean, I have to really think about this. I but the point say, is, I will say the first time I watched this, I was having like a miserable last time. Like I was like, oh, <laughs> this is awful. But then like when I came here, like it was actually fun to watch. Like I felt like I was watching Annihilation level kind of bad. They have like, you know, stupid lines that are laughable and like yeah. it's things that I, I did like, like actually like some things in the movie and stuff like that. So overall, I would say it's I still enjoy it's a bad movie. It is still a bad movie, it's, but I still enjoyed it's it. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it. I'll do this though. I'll, I'll like. I'm actually gonna give both Scorpions of Revenge and this one like a four out of ten. But I always say Scorpions of Revenge is the better movie. And then uh, I have a I have a confession to make. I haven't seen Annihilation yet. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, dude, it, 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 we'll watch. We'll I'm saving watch, that. I promise you. I promise you. Annihilation is like literally so fucking bad. It's so funny. It's so uh, that's, fucking. That, funny. That's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, yeah. I wanna I wanna I wanna say something by the way. So um. You guys all agree Scorpion's Revenge is the better movie compared to this one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have a comment here that I received on my um, <laughs> re- video when I mentioned Scorpion's Revenge. <clears throat> like, you really compared this live-action feature film to a very cheesy, animated, straight-to-DVD wannabe anime? I'm not sure if you're on a spectrum or whatever, <laughs> but if you complain this much about a movie that's based on a concept of an inherently goofy as Mortal Kombat, you've got to be at least a little Asperger prone. <laughs> Straight to the autism. Oh my god. Christ. I don't want to really... Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you, we're and that was me... Co- movies ba- we're, we're, we're judging these movies based on like stories and stuff. I mean like... I complimented Scorpion's Revenge in that, in the, that and that's why he replied... <laughs> See, the thing is, like, Scorpion's Revenge and the 95 movie both had, like, easy-to-follow plots, characters that developed, Mm -hmm. characters that grew, characters you cared about, characters that were interesting enough. And this movie does not have that. The only reason it just went why its own way. you care about these characters, I mean, like, I, I, I don't want to sound condescending or anything. I, I, I want to try my hardest not to sound like super like assholey or anything like that. But I'm just trying uh-huh. to say, I think what a lot of people would be like, well, I cared about the characters. Well, I think it's because you're an MK fan, and you already do. But I think yeah. as a movie, <laughs> as I think as a movie, as somebody who doesn't know MK or somebody trying to get into MK, I don't think, I don't think this movie does anything to make you care about the characters. Um, I don't think mm. it, I don't think the char- the characters don't grow. But they, and the characters that do they, grow, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. And the characters that do oh, yeah, grow sorry. are super uninteresting. Like fucking Cole Young, what the fuck? Is he, he literally didn't do anything into the movie until he was told, "Hey, you're special." And then boom, plot armor. And then he defeats Goro, and then he helps kill Sub Zero. Like what the fuck? Is yep. That? He he actually is useless until he gets his abilities. Yeah. And I remember like the, the chat in, in my Discord the entire time they're like, "What the fuck is this Cole Young guy doing here? Like why?" <laughs> And like, I, uh, go ahead. I actually feel like if you really, re- I what I'm, and this is the thing I'm gonna have to really analyze in this like movie. It's like you can say characters are dumb or like they don't have any plot and stuff like that. In this movie, I sometimes feel like I have to theorize what their motivation and arc is because yes. I don't even think the movie really gave it. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, how do I care? Because, like all of the all all of the material you're given with to think about or to to to, to try to care about is by dialogue. It's like one of my problems that I had with like, uh, what is it, like um, um, uh, Rise of Skywalker in Star Wars. Like they literally just kept explaining everything. They just kept like explaining everything (laughs) through dialogue, not showing things and stuff like that. Like, like, oh, what what does this mean? This means that, 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 that. Oh, where did you come from? Like it's just, that's all it was. That's, you didn't really get backstory from these characters. And I know you mentioned again, that in the Sonya Jack scene, people, yeah. Yeah, and again, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Well, you already knew about the characters. We've already had so many MK games where we already see them." I'm like, dude, that's not how you make a Mortal Kombat movie. This is a reboot. You're supposed to reintroduce the franchise. You're reintroducing these characters. What you need to do is not act like it's a fucking sequel. You got to act like it's the first time these these characters have been brought to life. Because guess what? It has. This is the first time they've been brought to life since 1995. You don't act like everybody knows these characters. You got to reintroduce them. You got to reintroduce why people care about them. You got to show why people care about them. And you got to do that well. And they did not do that. For sure, yeah. Um, The two Two friends I brought with me to the movie theater, they knew nothing about Mortal Kombat. So I felt like with me knowing a lot about Mortal Kombat and them not knowing much about Mortal Kombat, we might have like a different contrast in opinions about the movie. Uh, Nope, not really. Like every dumb thing about the movie and, and all the characters, they didn't really care 
Uh, the characters' death, even they were like, I don't know any, any of these characters, but I bet the fans are pissed <laughs> the yeah. way they get killed and stuff like that. I mean, that. like, yo, I, and I know a lot of people are going to be, like, because I, I, and one of the, pro another problem I have with this movie is how, like, how, like, the villains are just jobbers. Like, and I know yep. a lot of people are going to be like, well, aren't the jo aren't they jobbers in the games? And I'm just like, is that how you really want the MK characters to be written? Are you, do you really want the characters to be written that way do you want the movies have always had that problem with the villains every yeah. single mk movie has the exact problem which, which is actually ties into how like th this is like the, the the best live action version of scorpion if only because he actually has character yeah even oh, though yeah, I guess so. it was that way. like that so that's, that's one thing you can definitely give scorpion's revenge is mm. it makes scorpion a character and not just an enforcer yeah, or just like scorpion just like a deus ex machina yeah, see, see, the Scorpion in Scorpion's Revenge, he grows. He he um, he learn he learns he learns what to do. He learns not to succumb to vengeance. He learn well. I mean, like he he gets his revenge, but it it, it doesn't it, it doesn't con it doesn't consume him. moderation. He learns to do it in moderation. <laughs> yeah. the point like, is, he Scorpion, grows. He's a Scorpion character in Scorpion's there. Scorpion's Revenge gets his revenge, but like it doesn't let him consume him. He's not a mindless like fucking like angry motherfucker. And his story ends, and he gets to be his own man at the end of the movie. Um, uh -huh. and, uh, but like Scorpion, he's like he dies, he shows up, save the day, and then what the fuck happens? Um, I feel like it's for the sequel. Uh, you know, that's an argument that you're gonna hear a ton. By the way, they're setting it yeah. up for the sequel. Yeah. That's yeah. why they didn't yeah. do it here. Yeah. Scorpion, Johnny mm -hmm. Cage, blah blah character. They're gonna make Cole more interesting in the sequel. Just wait two years. <laughs> <laughs> why would you do that though? It's like guys, 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 guys. Wait, wait till the movie comes out. These characters are underdeveloped. The characters are very bland in the movie. But guess what? In the next one, that's that's when they do it. Like, why not do it now? You have the option to do it now. That's how you make a movie. That's basic screenwriting 101. What the fuck are you talking about? Now, the only time that's relevant is when the story doesn't call for it. It's like it's like complaining. It's like complaining if uh, in Scorpion's Revenge, like, oh, why didn't Shao Kahn get that much screen time? I was like, well, I mean, it's, it, the story doesn't really call for that. But the story call, but the story does call for development of the characters that we're supposed to care about: Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Cole Young, Raiden, Kano. I mean, Kano's the best one, so I, well, I won't include Kano. But Jax. They don't get that much. <laughs> I don't think Kano's even going to be in the sequel. No, uh, not hard to say. They yeah, got to oh. give him the metal plate on his face. Remember, yeah. like, they didn't do yeah, that. We don't, in this we, don't see, we don't see body like disappearing with the others, and, uh, um, and was, they only show Goro. They only show Goro. They only show Goro, they only show Goro and Sub Zero. Yeah. I think some of the comments that were made uh, by someone involved in the film like really spoke to that about. You know when he's talking about like Kano and Johnny having the same role? Yeah, no, no, no. Hold, hold, hold. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to, I want to clarify. Yeah, no, no. Kano did. Kano, Kano was a developed character. Yeah, I, I want to make that clear. Kano was like am among the cast members. Was Kano was the Kano. most developed. Yeah, character. Kano was the most. He's like the one. only Arcana, <laughs> the only Arcana Awakening that I actually think makes more sense compared to everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, the Arcana with Jax is just like, like at least okay. you could say he got angry. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry um, uh, Fortunate, go, go and uh, uh, continue. Sorry. Yeah, so there's a comment made about how they, they have like, the same character and the same function, and about how like Johnny would be saved for a sequel, which somewhat suggests that if they can't have both in one movie, but they're going to put Johnny in the sequel, then presumably they bring Kano back? <sighs> I'm not sure, bro. I mean, like, I feel like people like Kano so much that they might just bring him back. So, like, they bring awesome. him back. And to be fair, he'll be a villain, so he's going to be on the other side. Yeah, but then, like, he's also going to be, like, he's going to have the same type of humor. And one of their excuses, if they do bring Kano back, this is just assuming they do they bring Kano back in the second movie. If they bring Kano back in the second movie, he's going to also be the comedy really. Because if they don't do that, well, guess what? Nobody's going to like Kano anymore. Because the one thing people like about this movie, or I, I think universally agree from what I'm seeing, one of the things that people agree on is that Kano's great because of his humor. So if they don't, yeah. So if they bring him back and he's doing the humor, and Johnny Cage is back and he's doing the humor, what was the excuse to not have Johnny Cage in this movie? Because I know their excuse was, oh, well, they, well, but they can't have two. We can't have two funny characters when, when, when you're gonna you're gonna bring up that article up, eh? Yeah, yeah. We can't we can't <laughs> we can't have two funny characters. Lol. And I'm just like, well, hold on a second. Aren't you doing that in the second movie? Like, I just. To be fair, actually, in the article, they don't even say Kano. They don't even say Kano is going to be like they're going. They're going to have Kano yeah. be a funny character in yeah. this movie. Mm -hmm. That is the reason they don't say it though, which I think they should. They, yeah. But I would never forget the funniest thing in that article. Not necessarily the 
racial thing. I don't really want to talk about that. Really, uh, it's like, not. It's not like people are taking it. Okay, I, I will say. Let, yeah, let's for sure. Clarify what it is. Todd Garner said that. The reason why Johnny Cage is not in the movie is because he didn't want to have a white male be the lead of the MK movie. Now, I agree. I don't think it should in be. In, like, an Asian-centric, yeah, like, cast in, in, and stuff in a, like in a, that. In a franchise where it's Asian, a, Asian, Asian focus, kung fu, and all that kind of stuff, it shouldn't be. I agree. But the thing is, we are not asking for Johnny Cage to be the main character. Johnny Cage yeah. has never been the main character. He's been important, but he's never been the main character. Johnny now, Cage here's the thing in that article that I still think is so bad. That's funny. They said, like, we don't want to add Johnny Cage in the movie and you know, what you just said, but also because that would be, like, such a Hollywood-ish, like, decision or, like, a Hollywood-ish kind of character, you know, just adding this kind of character in here. It feels like that kind of management, like, putting in here kind of a thing, you know, oh, that yes. Hollywood-ish kind of character. And my reply to that is, like, Cole Young is oh, the yeah. most Hollywood-ish <laughs> ish action yeah. he hero main character you could have put in the movie the checklist literally, all of it he lives and breathes studio interference cole young in the entire exactly movie. He literally the, only, the, only, is, the only thing he was missing is that the part where he's losing and then he f his daughter or he sees his daughter and that gives him a big boost in, in power or something that's like the one thing that was missing because she even still helps him, like do the uppercut and he does it and it's do like the oh uppercut. Like, the uppercut. he hits goro oh, that was so goro's crazy. like oh fuck i'm bleeding now <laughs> yeah and then like goro was just like throwing his hands around like an idiot like a high schooler in uh, like 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 in a high schooler fight like he was just throwing the his legendary hands out, like, prince goro the legendary prince goro the champion of mortal Kombat for 500 years he was just throwing his hands around like an <laughs> idiot like a high schooler like a high school fight that you see in those like freaking like uh, world wor world star videos and everything like that and like did you couldn't just go for the this... head you couldn't do the mkx fatality where you like get the head and you put uh, put it in the thing like what the fuck one of the in the in raiden's goro. temple did, did you see like the great well yes or i, I, I oh, yeah he does in the I lore mean, like, in, yeah i mean, I mean they, the movie, did they confirm it in the film because I, I don't think they did they I don't mean, they don't they confirm it but i mean the, technically they, speaking they it should the great Kung Lao. i don't think it's like sad but at the things at the same time like n nothing is developed so i mean like yeah they and like I what do you call it? One of the drawings all is because we know what the game lore is. If like if you don't have that, you have no idea anything that's yeah, going you on. You have no idea who. Yep. Goes. Then that's that's another problem with the movie is that so many characters can literally be anybody else, anybody else, any <laughs> no name motherfucker, and the movie wouldn't change. If you got melina and you changed her to be an outworld goon just like evil 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 lady if you just changed her to be evil lady the movie wouldn't change if goro yep. was replaced and he was just big he just he was just a big guy the movie wouldn't the movie wouldn't change if you did that with reiko the movie wouldn't change maybe cabal a little bit uh maybe Cab maybe maybe cabal can't uh w wouldn't uh work uh, if you changed it, but at the same time, Cabal also doesn't get that much development. He just shows up and he's like, "Hey, Kano, want to join my side? I'm I'm spinning here. I'm spinning here." And then he's I'm like, and then Kano's like <laughs> "Yeah." And Kano's like, "All right." And then boom, he fights Luke Kang, and then the fight isn't go, really yeah. that good. I mean, Luke Kang got to do the bicycle kick, but like so many pe so many characters are un underdeveloped so badly and like they're treated, they're just there for references they're yeah they're just it's there. literally just for references just so sell tickets Tara. yeah Tara's just so they can just, yeah because that's their version <gasps> the Tara is just too funny to me that's still. just because that's just their version of like see we care about the fans like we brought this character and we remember that character i'm just like you're not even doing anything with them you're just like having them there just for the sake of be there and guess what yep. that's a problem annihilation had annihilation yep. had that problem annihilation had the problem of just bringing in so many characters characters just for the sake of being there because oh look we got a, we got we're gonna do more characters this time so like reference so i want i want i i want to hear why we we don't hesitate to criticize annihilation and shit on that in the movie which i know is well deserved i don't think i'm not saying it's a good movie but i'm just saying i mean everybody kind of shits on that movie yeah, right yeah, i'm just so. saying like why is so why are people so quick to criticize that and jump on that but i but it, and and you're excusing this? This literally has the same problems of one of the worst M has the same problems as one of the worst MK movies, and it's so bad. Like why? <laughs> like I, I I am so I I, I really want to see like people like defend like d d like d d dismiss and be very dismissive of like of the same problems that this movie had. 
uh, when it's when it was also present in Annihilation. Like we we were super we were super fast to criticize that. We're super fast, and we all agree that's bad. But when that same problems is integrated into our new movie, all of a sudden, are we gonna be like excusing that? What the fuck? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, by the way, so I want to mention this. You two are probably going to make reviews of this movie soon, right? Talk about your opinions. I think I'll upload this in. segment. I don't know if I'll do a review because <laughs> like, this is basically my review. I'm doing it right now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can, you can One do thing it, I, but I'll just upload this part. Yeah. I will like warn you guys, by the way. So I've, I've made videos talking about Mortal Kombat 11, Scorpion's Revenge. I've made, I've made jabs, made fun of them. <laughs> Look at this bad stuff, whatnot. Some so I've, I've, I've mad, made that for Mortal Kombat. You know what? I appreciate them. <laughs> I made, but the point is, I made fun of Mortal Kombat 11 and Scorpion's Revenge, and um, people like the videos. I think, for the most part, you know, they like my edits and stuff like that. I talk about this movie. I made a review of this movie, and I also made fun of it. Made I, I kind of, I feel like I made a pretty good review of that movie within 30 minutes and stuff like that. It is my most hated video on my channel right now. Really, people defended the heck out of this movie. It's insane how scary it is. How many people like. Like, they got offended by me saying, like, oh, how could you not understand the character development of these characters and whatnot? It's like, it's, what? Okay. I got, like, comments about, like, the kind of comments that you don't know how to make fun of people kind of comments. You know, like, oh, you're just a hater. You hate this movie because you hate everything That's Mortal Kombat related. Got. You, you went into this movie wanting to hate this movie. That kind of comments. It's kind of scary how much people are willing to defend this film. Welcome to my life. So I, I think... <laughs> Yeah, I think where it comes from is the fact that this is the first time we're getting an MK movie in live action since the 90s. And they Perhaps. just they're so excited. Like, finally, we get what we've been asking for. Finally, we get they already determined the movie was going to be good. And that's yeah. the best part, by the way. And that's I the released that review on April 8th. Look when the movie came out. The how the heck are you defending? <laughs> how the heck are you defending the movie now? Like well, back I'm then? Gonna like, say, I bet most of them haven't even seen the film. They just yeah, just, they already determined the movie's gonna be great. And this thing is yeah, like isn't that the same amount? Isn't that the same problem? Okay, like fine, fine, fine. You have a problem with us or me, um, like not liking the movie, going into the movie, not hating it, or having a negative view of the movie before. Okay, fine. What about you? You're already going in thinking like this is gonna be the best movie ever. Like fuck yeah, propaganda mother one oh motherfucker like <laughs> oh, my, uh, Mortal Kombat, blah, 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 all that kind of shit like well hold on a second like why can't can we tell you like hold on aren't you like getting your hopes up a little bit too high like what if it's bad like can, can sh shouldn't you actually wait until the movie comes out like you're telling me to do because like every yeah. time every time I had a bro, criticism bro, of the movie bro, bro. or had a worry about the movie hold on a second hold on uh, every time I had a criticism of the movie or a worry about the movie all the time they just said oh wait till the movie comes out bro you haven't seen the movie wait till the movie okay you know what you should wait till the movie comes out Wait till the movie comes out. <laughs> See, that, that's your first mistake, bros. Is that you're you're asking for consistency from these completely irrational people? <laughs> consistency. Yeah, it's actually like it shocks me how many more people want to defend you, you this were, movie. Okay, hold on. I will. I will I, <laughs> but yeah, it's a uh, people. I don't really know because, like you said just then, like you want to see people like it and you want defend this movie and you want to see their opinions. I bet there's going to be a lot coming up. Granted, I feel like the review is, for the most part, like, pretty much like how we feel about the movie, like, right now. I will say, like, um, did, you saw Jeremy's review, didn't you, Brusk? Yeah, Jeremy's review I did see, and I'm very, very glad that he pointed out, guys, I like fatalities and I like the gore, don't get me wrong, but what keeps us going, what keeps us longtime fans going is the lore and the and the and the story and the characterizations of our favorite characters not for the fatalities because if you notice the characters the people who like who focus too much on the fatals and everything usually they they'll say things like oh i didn't even play mk until mk2 or something like that like they're like super <laughs> like not even invested in the franchise like they'll appreciate it for like what it is but they're not like long time fans long time fans tend to have been with the franchise and have cared for like the story and like the narratives and everything about MK in terms of just like writing. So like it bad or good. And the people who don't and the people who don't care about that are like non like they're just I'm not going to say like they're not real MK fans, but they're not the ones that stuck with the franchise. These are the same people that bailed out of the 3D era because lol 3D. That's it. 
Yeah, for sure. I would say fatalities is a good starting point for you to get into Mortal Kombat. That's kind of how I got into it, yeah, just I mean, watching the compilations. Get him in. But then the more you Mortal, learn about it, the more interesting it gets. Currently, the Mortal Kombat movie is at uh, currently the Mortal Kombat movie is at fifty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I want to. Oh, it was like at sixty ish on Rotten Tomatoes. When I want to see the show. audience score, and that's when I want to see the most. Is it not out yet? The audience score? Yeah, I, the audience score is not there yet. No. I just saw an amusing tweet from, from someone uh, tweeting at Lewis Tannen. Holy shit, this movie was amazing. Lewis did a great job with his character, highly anticipated the sequel. <laughs> what character? Did he, what? did he retweet that? Did he retweet that? Yeah, he caught retweeting it saying sequel. Here's what I want to get out of the way. Here, here's what I want to get out of the way first. I feel so bad for the cast. I think the cast did everything they could to work with the script. For sure. Yeah. I have yeah. no problems with the cast. I do think some characters were miscast, but for the most part, I do think that the cast is fine and they're good spirited. And I feel really bad for shitting on the movie and not liking the movie. I really do. Because like, if you see the set photos and the tweets and all that, they, they had a blast making this movie. They really, really liked it. They and had you know to what? work and like hard for the Kung Fu and stuff like yeah, that. They, I, they, they, they some trained the and everything like that. And even like they had, the, they, they worked hard and they trained and all that. And like, I feel bad because like those fight scenes didn't even look that good. Like the Reiko and Jack's fight looked <laughs> terrible. The fucking like, so, Sonya and the Sonya and the Melina look so fucking bad. Um, whichever the ones, there were some like really bad ones. Um, uh, but really like, bad ones, really bad ones. Um, but just, just uh, but, but, sorry for the Tara. The Tara doesn't no, even Tara, count as yeah, a the fight Itara, scene. Yeah, Come the on, the, the, the Tara <laughs> fight scene. So the Tara is like the Slipknot of this movie. Yeah, it's just yeah, basically, it's just and I feel bad for the cast. And I, I want to say I, my my problems with the movie has nothing to do with the cast. It's what it's what the script that oh, they were given. Oh, for sure, given. yeah. And I, yeah, I never, feel bad for Louis Tan. Louis Tan really wants to be a Hollywood actor. He wants to be a star because he's been <laughs> mainly a stuntman and everything like that. But I, I have come to, too. I, I have to be real too. with you. He just can't act. Like he literally doesn't. <sighs> he doesn't emote at all in the movie. But that's and, a, like, I think is, is is that down to him or the direction or the script i actually so, might blame the direction a little more like that's I, we I just want a direct direct action I, I, hero i bl yeah i blame the direction but i i just don't think he can act i he doesn't have I mean, any charm he doesn't have any charisma he's like, he doesn't seem to really least. care about his family and whatnot like meh. it's just yeah it's so like it's just so bland and dry just i give mm -hmm. i have no reason to care about the character and I, again, it's it's just reality. I just don't think he's that. I I just don't think he's that good of an actor. And honestly, like you know what? I know it sucks. It's not something that you want to hear, but at the same time, like you look at me. I want to be. I would love to star in a Hollywood movie. I would love to be the star. Brust poet Scorpion's Revenge or uh, Mor <laughs> YouTube Le Mortal Kombat YouTube Legends Brust Revenge. All right. I would love to star in that, but I can't act for shit. And I'm not gonna sit here and be like, well, what do you mean I can't act? No, I it like. It's just reality. You're not built for everything, you know. Right? Some people are built different. Some people are not. So, if, if you could play any any MK character, let's, let's imagine you, you became like a world class actor overnight, and you could play any MK character in, in one of the games or one of the movies. Who would you want to play? I would Reptile. Want to play. <laughs> if, if, because this 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 is Reptile. this is implying it's in a. In a this is this is implying this is an ideal world. This is an ideal world where, um, actually, never mind. I was gonna never mind. No, I shouldn't say that. This is in a. Fantasy. I mean, is it depending okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, on if you can act? I did say this is a fantasy. So yeah, so let's, let's just. Yeah, this is pull. implying that I'm in a fantasy world because, like, wh where? Yeah, this yeah, is fantasy, fantasy world. world. I would be. I would be Liu Kang. I would 100. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. of course. So in that universe, let's just establish that Liu Kang was never a Shaolin monk and just it was never Chinese. All right, the, all right. <laughs> let, let, let's just, in that world, okay. I I just would really love to play Liu Kang, but I don't. I I I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Like I'm. I'm Russ, you gotta I'm, kill a human trafficker to get world, your fire abilities. <laughs> you gotta kill a human trafficker to get your fire abilities. Oh yeah. I gotta, no I one's gotta, gonna call you the chosen one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think it's gonna be accepted if I if I was known to kill a, a, a sex trafficker or a child trafficker because that's what he did in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> By the uh, way, um, what do you call it? Uh, so what about you, for Snake? By the way, someone just gave a really long re uh, review and gave it an eight out of ten. <laughs> that's, that, that's that's just on them, man. That's just on them. 
<laughs> Good uh, for you. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, don't, don't, don't shit on him. Don't shit on him. It'd be nice. Of course, yeah, of course. Nice. I don't want to be Kano. Ah, okay, okay. That Kano. seems fun. It's not necessarily like, like the uh, like a, a funny comedy man, like just Kano in general. Even if he's just like the absolutely disgusting slob that he was in the... And he's just like complete guts people. I'd be fine playing that Kano. <laughs> you know, I, I can be definitely fun. seeing you be movie Kano. I can definitely see you <laughs> just walking up to people and shitting on them. I meant like, I mean, like of, talk that, shitting that, on them. That meme is kind of funny. Uh, and I'd, make, I'd make it that. Uh, I'd make it that his backstory is more like it is in uh, made it in MK Chronicles, where it's like the original backstory, where he's like an American orphan raised in Japan, but then he, he, he got in with um, a potentially Australian black dragon guy, and his accent changed. I'm, but he's not actually Australian, and that's why my Australian accent is so shit in the movie. <laughs> that's a great retcon. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that's a better Twindell retcon than. <laughs> okay, so can't do we, we, do we... Can't the next film. I can't wait for the next film where Sindel's just alive at, at Shao Kahn's side during the tournament and says, Too bad you will die. Yes. It won't, be like, it won't be anywhere near as over the top. It'll just be like somewhat like reined in, and it will have, it can be completely shit as a result. And it'll be really cringe. It'll be really cringe. It'll be awesome. So do we wanna <laughs> do we wanna do our concluding thoughts on the movie? Um and Shit. before we get into the Q Sure, sure. Okay. Um I'll go I'll start with uh Sonic. Sonic, your concluding thoughts on the movie. Ah shit, I get the first Okay. Um so I'm actually gonna be I feel like I'm I'm I feel like out of you two, I I'm like the least critic criticizing this film as much. I, I believe I will get like once I deep dive deep into the analysis of like these characters and what they represent i will completely hate this movie like completely but as it stands right now i am much more mixed like i had things i liked i had things i disliked and i had things that are like oh my gosh that's so bad that's so funny and by bad i mean like like the fans are gonna get so pissed off and that makes it really funny in my opinion <laughs> so like in the end like i would still say like i'd recommend it just to watch with friends it's actually fun like it's I a will, it's dumb yeah, fun action. I, I mean, I've said this multiple times, but like this was pretty fun to do. Like I I liked laughing at it. <laughs> and I'll I'll say this like because uh the the quality of your watch isn't like the best. And we were talking over a lot of yeah, stuff, we were, but like yeah yeah yeah. There's some pretty funny lines. There's some pretty cringe and funny lines in the movie. Yeah. So this is so my final rating would be like it's bad, but I enjoyed it. So okay. like, good job. Like in a way, like I guess that's what the director wanted. You know, mm. like at least I enjoyed it. Four out of ten, but it should be a three out of ten. But I'm getting it a four out of ten. Yeah. Uh, four snake. All you right, doing? you guys go shit. You guys shit on the movie. Go on. Um, <laughs> I will say that um, I'll give it. I'll give it one thing. It has the best Sony since MKX because she's not just a raging con the entire film. <laughs> it has that going for it. I guess yeah, Sony isn't too bad if you really think about it. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I, if they decided we want to put this Sonya. The actress into the game in place of Ronda Rousey. Um, you you but, cut out a little bit. You cut out a little bit. Yeah, so if, 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 they there, yeah. to, if they wanted to put this Sonya actress into the game to replace Ronda Rousey, I would be fine with that. Okay. She did. She did fine with the material she was given. Uh, I liked. It, I liked Dang. it when she had the the green shirt. Because then she kind of looked like um looked like like Sarah Sonya. from Psyops. Original yeah. Sonya. Yeah. Oh, well, you, 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 yeah, you were you were you were referencing something else, but like I, yeah. I, I, I always thought I just thought like uh, she's classic Sonya because it's green. Mm, I think she, she looked a lot like previous movie Sonya when she put in the, put on the black though, which I think was intentional. Yeah, uh, Bridget Wilson. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that's that's probably something worth getting into at some ranking the movie actors against each other. Yeah. Who was the best movie Sonya? But uh, for now. <laughs> It, the, it just feels like nothing of note really happened by the end. Yeah. While some characters got, some characters I got guess so. Because yeah. you know, characters had, die, but then they're like, nah. Guess what? No, nah, they're, they're not really dead. And we're not, like, not was... even at the tournament yet. Uh, the tournament doesn't even. Do we like... even get to the tournament in the next movie? No. Okay. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt your review, but like, <laughs> here's the thing. They're gonna be like, because in the next movie they're gonna be like, oh, this one's the tournament now. Like, you guys asked for it, but it's actually gonna be MK3 because like Sonya, is, uh, Sonya, Sh Shang says next time I'll bring an army. I always that's 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 MK3 right there. They're gonna they're gonna do the, <laughs> they're gonna do the war thing again. So it's gonna be a battle royale Wait, again, not a tournament. I, 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 right. <laughs> It's gonna. It's, 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 it's not I'm gonna not be a tournament. It's just gonna be MK3, and they're just gonna call. Oh, it wait, I just, I just thought about something. Yeah. Oh, you, you go oh, first. Sorry. 
they could hold the tournament in that world, and that's M- basically MK2, and that's where they introduced Shao Kahn. Yeah. They're definitely going to do that in the next movie. Ah, shoot, I-, I lost my thought. I was thinking about something really funny. You were saying Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, what are they? Oh, yeah, I just remembered. What the f- frick are they going to call the next movie? Mortal if it's, Kombat, if the they're going to have the Mortal Kombat tournament. Mortal Kombat tournament? Ugh. Mortal Kombat tournament That's edition? So... <laughs> <laughs> Mortal Kombat Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing is like, they call it Mortal Kombat, but it's not really about Mortal Kombat. It's like a prequel thing. They should have called the movie Combat. They just Combat. They just did it for the name rec- recognizability. Um, yeah. But the movie isn't it, really about Mortal Kombat. And that's it, it the reminds problem. me of... See, the, the thing is, like... I, hold, on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but I know a lot sure, of people sure. are going to be like, well, I mean, like, there was other MK games where it wasn't a tournament. They still call it Mortal Kombat. Yeah, they called it Mortal Kombat... Sub Zero, Mortal Kombat Mythology, Sub Zero, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, Mortal Kombat Special Forces. They put a subtitle there. So if this was like Mortal Kombat: The Beginning or something like Mortal Kombat: The uh, The Origin or whatever the fuck, I think I would have been fine with that. But like they call it Mortal Kombat, but it's not even about Mortal Kombat. So. Yeah, the it, first it Mortal good. Kombat game, Mortal Kombat, got that. Mortal Kombat: The Movie, 1995, called Mortal Kombat. Understood, it's the first movie. Mortal Kombat 9 being called Mortal Kombat is a little annoying, but it's a reboot, sure. This movie, Mortal Kombat. There's no tournament. There's no tournament. It reminds me of the animated version of uh, Halo Fall of Reach, which ends before the Fall of Reach. <laughs> Why call it that then? <laughs> <laughs> Fall oh. of Reach. Okay, so uh, uh, go, go with your review. Uh, Sorry, I'm not going to interrupt anymore. God, like, above the same kind of experience I had when I watched um, uh, The Force Awakens. Well, at least with Force Awakens, I thought it was okay. In, in the cinema. Like, yes, it was, I agree. It was, it was trash the whole time. But then I was like, as I was thinking about it and talking about it on the way home, I hated it more and more because of how bad I realized it actually was. <laughs> and it's like, wow, this movie is absolute dog shit. <laughs> but I don't think, I don't think <laughs> the price were good, to be honest. Like, I think the, the Scorpion and Sub-Zero ones were good, even though Scorpion is so nothing a character in this entire film. that That's yeah. completely pointless. I... Uh, you know, at least when Scorpion's Revenge opens with like the death of Scorpion and his family, that's relevant to the narrative. Whereas in this one, it's just not. It's for Koya. Like, why? It's why? Why, young. why did they even establish that Scorpion has a daughter when they could have just had his son survive? Because uh, yeah, what was really changed? Because <laughs> yeah. because different take, bro. I fucking hate that argument. <laughs> the the. Uh, <laughs> Your opinion about Force Awakens reminded me of some stuff too. Where like the Force Awakens is like we take established things and we sh- we just do our own stuff. We just don't care about it anymore. We take established things and we add Ko Young. And that's how I kind of feel about that comparison a little bit when you mentioned that. <laughs> it's making me think of this other thought I had earlier, like but I didn't really have an opportunity to to bring it up. It's when the, the comparison to the Last Jedi was made. Was just imagine it. Raiden goes to the Nether Realm to, uh, to get Scorpion. Scorpion's like, "I had my revenge. My, 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 my I, I've done my thing." And Raiden says, "Somehow, Behan returned." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. So, in conclusion, you yeah. how do you feel about this yeah, movie? Yeah, your, your concluding thoughts. Yeah, it's. I, I don't think there's any redeeming features of this film at all, other than the fact that Kano is fun. So, for the best experience <laughs> for this film would be when. Uh, wait till we can get higher quality rips readily available. Watch Scorpion vs. Sub Zero MK Movie 2020 compilation on YouTube. Watch MK Movie 2020 Kano Funny Moments compilation on YouTube. And that's <laughs> or it. Just, or just this, or like Mortal Kombat, but only the Kano scenes. Yeah. Honestly, that is oh, worth yeah. watching 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I advocate for that 100%. That would be well, a real actually- choice of combat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, that's a lot more positive than I expected from the Force Snake. <laughs> well, because they didn't call it Wank this time. <laughs> okay, wank so out of ten. Wank so out you, of 10. Got, you guys both got your, your, your stuff done, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, so I guess my concluding thoughts, my review of the movie, I would say, is that um, the car- the movie had very had had a very very messy plot, very so many plot holes, so many under underdeveloped characters, and Cole Young just did not need to be in the movie. Like I I I I there's no purpose for him. Like there, he did nothing. And then the the only thing that happened was that he he was told that hey you can you 
you're, you're special, and then boom, he gets plot armor, and then he defeats Goro and everything like that. Some of the fights weren't even that good. I even expected the fights to be great. I'd be like, okay, I guess one thing I can good, say good about the movie going in is that I think the fights are going to be good. Not all the fights are good. Like, a lot of them are just rushed and just quickly just dismissed and stuff, like the Sonya and Molina yeah. one, the Reiko and Jax one. Um, the choreography is just so bad there. There was some good choreography. Like, the opening scene was great. I love that. Uh, the, the, the end fight was fine. I like that. Um, I guess some of the characterizations were great. It's just that that's the characterization in terms of like character writing, in terms of like how the characters were written, very underdeveloped. And the one that was the ones that needed to be developed the most are were the were, were the were the worst ones, like Cole Young and um, like literally just Cole Young, Cole, Cole yep. Young, <laughs> and, and, and just literally Cole Young. So uh, it, it just incredibly just uh, just just not good at all. Um, so oh, I, people I, are I, complaining about Raiden. Oh, Ra are complaining yeah, about Raiden. Raiden. Yeah, like, and some of the characterizations, not all of them were winners either. Like, what the fuck is Raiden doing? Like, why the Ra why the fuck is Raiden like shitting on Cole Young? I know we all like to, but hold on a second. If you're really gonna like establish Raiden in like a really good way, if you're actually trying to be accurate to the games like they promised, um, I never thought they were gonna do that. But still, like yeah. I said, <laughs> Raiden should be there like mentoring him. Like, it's okay, Cole. Like. Like uh, I've 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 watched generations of mortal combat uh, of mortal combatants and everything like that struggle through this. This is nothing new. It's okay to do this. This is a new thing for you and all that kind of stuff. If we got that kind of version of Raiden, that would be so great. Imagine like carrying Raiden, like Raiden, like actual Raiden, because that's actually Raiden. Raiden is supposed to be the one. Or Fujin. Or Fujin. MK11 Fujin is literally <laughs> thing is MK11 Fujin is literally supposed to be Raiden. Because like in the mythologies, it was said Raiden, uh, Raiden was chosen to be the Earth Realm's protector because he cared for the mortals the most. So that was not portrayed in this movie. Raiden was like a dick. He was just being an asshole. Like what the fuck? What are you even doing here, bro? And like, <laughs> and he's not even doing his job either. Like what the fuck? Like if 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 Shang Tsung and uh, and 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 Sub Zero and and Reiko and Melina are right in your face, they're like, we're gonna kill you. Raiden's just like, no, you can't. Here's shield. I'm just like, bro, zap him away. You have legal authority to do that. <laughs> you have legal authority to zap him away, kill them, whatever the fuck you want to do. Because guess what? You can think he of did that. Raiden. He literally did that in the movie. <laughs> he literally did that in the movie. I know a lot of people are also going to say, like, well, maybe he wanted the Earthrealm heroes to grow in the heat of the moment. When did he ever say that? When was that ever was fucking established? When? And he got Kung Lao killed in that case. When? Yeah, and he got Kung Lao killed in that case. Yeah, like, that's bad at that's a not badass but that's a bad fucking plan so it just like, make me wonder are they trying to set up like in the the modern games where you can become disillusioned with the raiden because you got a cloud oh yeah oh they're gonna do dark oh. Luke they're gonna do dark Luke <laughs> oh they're gonna, the gonna do that movie. again oh God. they're gonna do that. <laughs> um so yeah uh, not not and some not all the characterizations were great um a lot of characters are very underdeveloped especially the and they were all like all the underdeveloped characters were the Mortal Kombat characters. The one that gets the most development, even though it's not great, is Cole Young. Someone at fucking OC, a studio O fucking C, who can't, literally yep. does nothing in the movie. Um, I guess I, I will say, yeah, I mean, Kano literally is the best part of the movie. I genuinely believe <laughs> Kano is the best part of the movie. And I genuinely think so, uh, Kano is great. Like, I, I think he's really, really great. Uh, that I can agree on 100%. I will always, I will always stand by that. Um, yeah. But overall, messy plot. Characters are garbage. Not even not not even the fight scenes are that good. Not all of them are winners. Um, also, I guess I'll say that aesthetic wise, everything looks so brown. Everything is like taking a place in a desert or a fucking like like a like a brown ass temple and shit. Like where where the fuck is the color? Where's the where's the magic? Where's the where's the where's the where 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 is the magic? It doesn't. It doesn't have that. It, feel, it reminds me of MKX. How like dry the colors were, and how like dry the entire game was. Like I don't remember. But they were so proud of the cinematography and the deserts that they it's, filmed. It's, it's like not even yeah. just the, uh, the color palette. It's just the aesthetic as a whole. Like they just don't have interesting environments yeah, like, like the original film did. Yeah. Shang Tsung's Island was, was fantastic. But here it's just, yeah, let's just fight in the for, for 10 minutes. Yeah, and it's great how in the 95 movie, it uh, in the great 95 movie, Shang's Island, like there was like very like dark and creepy ass parts. There was like very like uh, ancient looking things. There was very Asian looking things. And then there was like a tropical scene. So 
the yeah, 95 movie not that you mentioned so, the 95. The, the 95 movie was so like great and like establishing aesthetics and like why Mortal Kombat is the way it is in terms of like aesthetic or like no like uh, what Mortal Kombat is sorry what Mortal Kombat is and in terms of aesthetics and how colorful it is and how like diverse it is and this movie brown temple that's all we fucking get and then like bro, uh, our other alternative fight cage bro we got the pit we got the pit though the pit was in this movie the pit yeah, yeah, the pit yeah. that's right which they didn't even fucking use for its intended purpose <laughs> I know. they put the pit <laughs> yeah. in but they don't do the pit fatality at least scorpion's revenge like say we're gonna do a pit and we're gonna do the pit fatality and they did it in a very yeah. creative way they didn't do it in the cliche like oh uppercut Scorpion's like, I'm fucking angry. I'm going to fucking kill you. And I'm going to bring you down with me. That was sick. Bring it both us down. Both us down. He fucking does an MK versus DCU stage transition. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he does that. Yeah, he does that. But, yeah, I think movie was just... I, I come to movies, and especially for MK, but for movies in general, I come for stories and for the plot. That's an entire. That's the entire point of a movie. That's what your movie. That's what movies are supposed to be about. It's about the plot, the story, and the characters that you're supposed to care about. If you don't have that, guess what? It's a bad movie. Um, um, I know a lot of people are probably gonna go into this like saying like, "Well, what, what did you expect? Bad plot." I'm like, I don't want that. Like, do you want bad stories? Do you want MK to be known to have bad stories? I know you are probably already think that, but that's just not the case. Like, look at just look at the stories in MK one, two, three, the original games. I mean, like, I know you guys have yes. disagreements with Scorpion's Revenge, the 95 movie. Mortal Kombat does have great stories and has told great stories before. So why are we ignoring that? Why are we, why are we acting like Mortal Kombat has never had a good story, has never had rich characters and all that kind of stuff, and you're just making excuses for, sure, for the yeah. dumb gimmicks? Like, Get gimmick ready to receive movie, a bunch of comments. Gimmick the movie should not be a movie. So, <laughs> yeah, I... I, I don't know if I want to put three out of ten or two out of ten, uh, three out of ten or four out of ten. Um, it's it's nowhere it's nowhere above four. I will say it's just nowhere above four to me. I I I mean I had a good time watching it, but it was mainly because I I, I had a good time like making fun of the really bad things in here and and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. But I think if I was watching <laughs> this movie without that, I think I would just have a miserable ass time. And I did the first time I watched this movie miserable last time holy shit i literally had to watch scorpion's revenge to like rejuvenate myself and like why i like mortal Kombat and stuff <laughs> so <laughs> i literally did that. <laughs> so yeah that's that, funny. that that's my verdict that's my verdict i i i don't want to see this shit i don't want to see this anymore like i i i i i wish i had the option to not talk about it <sighs> But everybody's gonna be talking about but it. Everyone's gonna be talking about it. So I have to. You gotta, I, I, you gotta make the YouTube video. Yeah, I got a YouTube video. I got a YouTube channel, so I have to. All right, that's it. That's my review. Hey.